Here's a fungal feeding nematode with its telltale spear in its mouth. This guy is actually moving it in and out for us, which is really lovely of him. These types of nematodes use that spear to pierce the cell wall of a hypha, or fungal strand, and then they suck out the cytoplasm of the fungus to eat it. You can see that that spear is inflexible when it bends. Now this is a bacterial feeding nematode. It's mouth is flexible. It has a terminal bulb down uh, that's pumping right now. There, you just see those two little pumps. And you can always tell that it doesn't have a spear in its mouth. Sometimes the esophagus might look like a spear, but there's a little bit of room. It's more of a barrel-shaped mouth. This particular one has a little bit of ornamentation around its lips. Not all do. But that bulb and the open void in its mouth are telltale for bacterial feeders. Now here's a still coming up, a still of a root feeding nematode. This is genus Criconomella. Pretty much all the root feeders have this telltale spear with its big burly bulb at the bottom. That thing has to be strong enough to pierce a plant root. Now this is just an example of uh, how well behaved the previous nematodes were. Often you'll see them just thrashing around. And that makes it impossible to see those distinguishing features around their mouth parts that tell us what they are. I didn't catch a predator nematode this time, but check back on soilbiology.tech. So that's functional groups of nematodes for you.